Welcome to Scorpio Wolf Tarot. This is going to be a reading for this, the fire sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. Also, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear it, that is when you're meant to see and hear it. Uh, the rules could be reversed, so take it as you may see fit, fitting to your situation. And I've gone ahead and pulled the card for you, so let's get to it. So... Cancer season has been a roller coaster of emotions, and not everybody's experience is that roller coaster ride of emotions. And just kind of keep that in mind as we go through this reading. Uh, you might be experiencing some ups and downs in your emotions, but uh, this is between you and your person. So, again, you know, this everybody has free will. So, whenever, whatever um, the energies or these cards what they're telling me this is what's likely to happen but you know everybody has free will so depending on uh, depending on what direction they want to choose uh, everybody has their own choice in the matter so so the overall energy that i'm getting from both of you is the page of pentacles that's an offer that's an offer pentacles is usually an offer of money but in, or a project or resources increase of that but since this is a love reading between you and your person, the person you came to the dream for, I kind of feel this is an offer of love, a offer of a small offer of love that's going to be presented to you. Now, the energy of that is a fast moving energy. It's it's kind of with the eight of wands. Expect to see messages uh, coming towards coming towards you from this person. Um, I kind of feel that. Sagittarius, you're the person, they're going to be sending the messages to you, or you can, I mean, you could be vice versa, you can be sending messages to them, but I think it's mostly going to come, be coming to you, because the way that the cards are laid out right now, it, it looks more like uh, coming towards you right now, but, and we'll explain that as, as we get through the rest of the cards. So, you've got the Ten of Cups energy for your current energy, so this person that you're thinking about, they're your complete cycle, you're their complete happiness. You feel that in your heart, your soul. You think about it. You dream about it. That's the kind of life you want with uh, with this person. Now, you do. It's clarified by the the nine of cups in reverse. That's about you know looking down at these type of relationships. So I kind of feel that people have been looking down at your relationship, but it's your life. It's real. It's Sagittarius. It's your life. Just because people don't like the person you're with, that doesn't mean that they should look down on your relationship and see any anything less of value than what they, the love to, you have for each other. I kind of feel that you've been kind of, people have been telling you, oh, this person's not good enough for you. Oh, this is not, they're not, you know, they're so-and-so. It's like, I wouldn't date somebody like that. But this is your heart and your soul. And you and this is where you, your, your, your soul is head leading you towards this person. And you feel that you shouldn't be, that you're not going to listen to them. You're going to ignore what they're, what people are saying and, lead to go to your happiness happiness is not is your happiness not everybody else's happiness so uh i kind of feel that that's that's the direction that you guys are taking along these matters of people looking down at this relationship that you may eventually have with this person or the the thoughts of you having this relationship with this person now your person on the other hand they've been given a choice i mean there's two paths there's a fork in the road there's a crossroads they're at a crossroads right now One's leading divinely gu guided, which is where the animals are. They got the birds coming from the horizon. You have these animals all over the place. The rabbit, squirrel, you know, the deer. And the two wands is a path. That's a doorway. And it's being shined down by the divines. They're telling you to take this path. Take this path to uh, where you want to go. What you want in life. This you have, you, But you have a choice. Like I said, everybody has free will. You can go down the dark, dreary path in the forest, or you can go with this guided light path. The choice is up to them to do. But I kind of feel that this path is going to lead them down a love path towards you. And I think they've already made that decision that they're, they are making that love decision to come towards you. They're going to come towards you with this offer. And it can and think and. Expect it to be fast-paced, a fast-paced movement of energies when they do come forward to you. So, 
uh, and the Oracle card that I pulled was what they secretly want to tell you is that they love you un unconditionally. They love you, Sagittarius. So, you know, they've made that decision to love you. They've, they've made that love decision. The messages are going to be coming fast and furious. And there's an offer. There's an offer for happiness between you and them. So thank you for joining me this week, Sagittarius. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Um, it helps my channel uh, content get circulated to other people out there, other Sagittarians out there that would like to see he hear these short readings for them on a weekly basis. I'm trying to do them weekly basis. Uh, I'm trying to keep them no more than seven days apart. So to give you time to like see how this ener energy has hit you. Uh, so leave a comment if you feel this resonated with you in any way or if you, other past readings resonated with you you can leave a comment uh that lets me know how accurate these readings are uh if i had to fine tune it any bit that, that you know any feedback would help positive keep it positive we want to keep i want to keep the comments open for everybody to read and and i know it gets a little crazier when you get up to a thousand subscriber and keeping all the comments clean but um right now we're only at 28 so you were small, starting off small, and hopefully you keep it small and positive. And we can have all the comments be posted on the on the YouTube channel just without having to turn them off and have anybody be, well, this is not happening to me. Uh, this reading is this, or this reading is that. You know, we we want to keep everything positive. So, um, like I said, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button helps to circulate my content around to everybody on YouTube. Uh, and then leave a comment if you if this resonated with you in any way. And thank you again for all my 28 subscribers that I have. Uh, we're getting a lot of views. So thank you so much for hitting that like button. Uh, and it really, we're getting tons and ton, tons more views on a daily basis on these readings. So I, I do appreciate the support that you guys have sent my way. Uh, thanks again for joining me and have a great week, everyone. Bye.